The past is not lost. The past lives inside us. Encoded in the double helix are the experiences of our ancestors. After three decades of research, our engineers have forged the cutting edge of biotechnological interfaces. We have unlocked the lives of our forebears. We have opened a window into the past. This is Total Immersion Entertainment. With the press of a button, you will experience the most pivotal moments in history. All from the comfort of home. Welcome to Helix. Where the past is your playground. Last of the heroic Knights Templar, Jacques de Molay was a man of principle, a towering intellect, betrayed by those he trusted. In this episode of Fallen Pure, Who's there? A friend of the temple. Floarak, the council's message was absolute. You're not welcome here. I must speak with the Grand Master. He's in session. They all are. Another day, perhaps. King Philip disagrees. Damn you, man. You're not rotting in a cell at this moment. I cannot have them. We are betrayed. Draw our swords, men. Defend the temple. Not you, brother. I have a different task for you. Come with me. King Philip's moving faster than we expected. Mm -hmm. Another hand is at work here. The Pope? The Assassins. Assassins? I thought the Mongol Khans broke their power decades ago. The Assassins are far older than Masaya, my friend. Their anarchic delusions are virulent as the plague, less easily eradicated. prevail this night, but if you make haste, we may yet save our order. What can I do? Go to the tower and take the sword and the and hide them. They must not fall into the assassin's hands. Grandmaster, I know.
Pope Clement, hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip, no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple! I curse you! Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! Consumed in flames of hunger and wrath, thus came the age of true wisdom to a blistering close. The Knights Templar, once the proud shepherds of order, peace, and illumination, were no more. Yeah, let's get a sniffer running. If Abstergo pings us, pull me out. Okay. I have a visual. Hey there. This is probably disorienting, so I'll be brief. I'm Bishop, not my real name, obviously, but that's as much as you'll get today. Please listen carefully. Abstergo is using you, hijacking your neurons to help them sift through genetic memory data. These guys have already their fingers in countless corporations, governments, media outlets, and NGOs. But now, they want control over history itself. If that doesn't frighten you, it should. But we're here to stop them, and I need your help. Deacon, preload gene sequence uh, AD16, B13, I87. Yep, spooling it up. Last week, we gained access to a bank of unsequenced memories in Abstergo's Helix servers. For now, we'd like you to experience a small sample. This should help you understand our struggle. And after that, you can decide for yourself what comes next. We'll be waiting. Arno. Can't I go with you, Father? Courage, my boy. You wait just here. I will return when this hand reaches the top. That's forever. Not as long as all that. And when I get back, we'll see the fireworks. And Arno, no exploring, hmm? Yes, Father.
you! Drop that! No! I thought they were for everyone. Dare disobey an officer of the peace. Hurry, through here. Did you see their faces when we stole those apples? <laughs> I'm Arno. Elise. I'm here with my father. So am I. He has important business with the king. What should we do now? Shh. Listen. Don't worry, they'll never think to look for us in here. It was my fault. I'm the one who took the apple. Let's see where they're going. Hurry up! Monsieur Franklin, I sincerely hope this unfortunate affair does not darken your opinion of our nation. Monsieur, if we judge nations by the character of their critics, Father? we should all be called barbarians. Come here, girl, now. Father? Fairly at cards, so you stoop the thieve, you bastard! Calm down, Victor. I've only come for my watch. It's my watch. I want it fairly. Well, in a just world, Victor, I would agree with you, but this is not a just world. This is France. You're a dead man. Oh, step lightly there. You'll hurt yourself. I just had a nice chat with your brother. You go. Fetch the marshals. Hold on a minute. Diable. Who's going to this door? I won't let him get it. I said it. Sorry. Oh, no, I don't want to come back.
Pardon, madam. <laughs> Gentlemen, please, we can come to an understanding. Please, excuse him, he's not housebroken. And where in God's name have you been? Ha! Huh. Got you now, you little shit! Just a little misunderstanding. Nothing to... Your master's arbor in a common criminal. In broad daylight, he broke into my home and stole my watch. Did he indeed? Well, I'm sure the Marshal C would be more than willing to sort this out. Sort what out, Olivier? Uh, a most serious accusation against your ward, sir. He robbed me. <laughs> of what, precisely? Wait for me in my library. Don't give me that look. Victor cheats when he plays Pharaoh. Everyone knows it. Arno? Who are you talking to? No one, monsieur. You'll be happy to learn I persuaded Olivier to leave off calling the Marshalsea. Again. Je vous remercie, monsieur. What is this? The sixth time? The seventh? Perhaps a new hobby might be better for your health. Well, I find playing cards affords many opportunities for fresh air and exercise. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. I have business in town and must collect Elise before I can attend to it. Elise is here? Only for the night. She returns to Paris first thing tomorrow. She'll need an escort. Won't she with you so preoccupied? One of you running a mock is quite enough. Remain here and see if Olivier has any chores for you. I'm sure he does. What was that? Give my regards to Elise.
J'avais commandé un vin d'Anjou pour le présent. Le mariage. Street yet? Oh, you would love that, wouldn't you? It'd break my heart. Olivier, if I weren't here, who'd do all your work for you? The horses need brushing, boy. Get to it. Certainement, monsieur. Some trouble, mon ami. A letter for Sire de la Serre. It's very important. Oh, calm yourself, Perrault. That letter won't reach Monsieur de la Serre any faster if you drop dead of exhaustion. Give it here. I'll catch him. You must receive it today. It's very... Very important. Yes, I heard you the first time. I'll see that he gets it. Monsieur de la Serre! Stop! Make way, make way! Les excuses, wrong carriage. What I need is a bird's eye view. Oh, 
de bonheur. Finally. La dette de l'État, déjà immense à mon avènement au trône, s'est encore accrue sous mon règne. Une guerre dispendieuse, mais au nom du en a été la cause. L'augmentation des impôts en a été la suite nécessaire et a rendu sensible pour une égale répartition. Une attitude générale. Un désir exagéré d'innovation se sont emparés des esprits. So, who or what will take its place? Another king? A council of capable men? That is the question, isn't it? A truce, then. What the devil was that about? Now, now, we can resolve this without recourse to violence, can't we? Get him, Yuko! I suppose not. Get him, Yuko! Easy, big fella. Let's see you run away this time. Crush him! Get him, you go! You can't take us both at once. Ready for a pity? Not your day, is it, Victor? To your health, gentlemen. You, boy! So, what are you doing there? Uh, running!
back in there now. Catch them back at home, I suppose. Bonsoir, Olivier. Has Monsieur de la Serre returned? Senor de la Serre is not expected until late. Ah, well. I suppose I'll just pass the time with Elise, then. Don't get your hopes up just yet. Mademoiselle is at a private soiree, in her honor, at the palace. A party? I wasn't invited. Neither were the horses. <laughs> I'm sure she just misplaced my invitation. I'll find my own way in. Ah, uh, how late is late? Perhaps an hour, perhaps three, perhaps not at all. I do not question the comings and goings of my betters. I'll just wait here then. Tragique. Too depressing. I could just slip it under the door. He'd see it the instant he returned. Oh, oh. There. Safe and sound, and only slightly delayed. And now, to the palace. Ugh. I couldn't sneak through a sewer in these threads, much less a ball. Here, here, mon ami. Let me take care of that. Uh, well, thank you, young man. Maximilien Robespierre. No guest. Ah, no. Le Chevalier du Telem. Invitation, s'il vous plaît. About that, I had one, of course, but on the way... No invitation, no admittance. Now clear the queue. Next, please. Charles Gabriel Sivet. Two guests. Next, please. Quite the turnout. Quite! Wait!
Thank you not to speak of that. Madam. I did love the chase. You seem to have caused quite a commotion. Well, what can I say? You were always a bad influence. Oh, you were a worse one. Father's suit. <laughs> Are you wearing a dress? Oh, don't even start. I feel like a mummy wrapped up in this thing. Must be quite an occasion to get you so fancy. It's not like that. Truth be told, it's a lot of ceremony and pontification. Doll is dead. Well, when you don't invite me to your parties, everyone suffers. I did try, but my father was adamant. Your father? Who's in there? Who Go. I'll distract them. What? You're kicking me out? It's Complicated. I'll explain later, but for now, out the window. Oh, no, no, no. You're not turning this into a repeat of that apple orchard. Uh, stop being such a baby. I'm sure there aren't any guard dogs this time. <laughs> Go!
Who's even going to come out here? Ten to one, I end the night cleaning a rich man's vomit off my shoes. You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Monsieur. Monsieur de la Serre. Monsieur de la Serre. Sivert, come away. Guards, help. Murder. Lord de la Serre. 